Hey guys, it's your boy Cody here with another video. Today we're doing the ultimate control guide for New World on the Steam Deck. Um, please send your likes and um, subscribe if you think the this content is useful or you've enjoyed it. Okay, let's get straight into it. So let's start at the very beginning. We've got analog sticks, do exactly what you think they do. They move you and they turn your camera. Um, clicking in this, the left thumbstick is auto run. Clicking it again will drop you out. This uh, right analog stick is dodge. So if you're moving sideways, it'll dodge side and all that. If you're going forward, it'll dodge forward. Pretty straightforward. Okay, we've got the uh, face buttons here. Why? Why will swap your weapons? And holding Y will sheath them. We have B, which is crouch, and holding B will put you in prone and goes back the other way. A is jump. What else have we got here? So uh, interact is on X. Pretty straightforward. And then you just push that the uh, face button to get back to the main menu. So from there, we've got uh, the right trackpad, which is ping. If you hold it, you'll get the ping wheel, which I think is pretty useful. Uh, Left-hand trackpad is all your other bits and bobs, and you can add to this as you see fit. So I've got accept decline for invitations to dungeons or parties. We've got making your camp. Uh, inspecting other players, so if you're looking around, there was a player, there's one there, I can click that. If I get a bit closer, and then I can go here and then click that, and it'll bring up his thing, his little player card, so that's really useful. Um, and I've got turning on PvP, and you can click that, get the emote menu, and then you can do some of your emotes that you've unlocked. Um, so that's the front screen basically covered. Um, there's a few um, connected things. So pushing A and the analog stick in and out will control your camera. That's because I'm standing by that building. So go here. So yeah, you can go in and out with your camera that way. Uh, so going to uh, the this side here, you've got uh, ability one, ability two, and you can tap it again to not use it. And then hold to do is ability three. Pretty cool, huh? And then um, if you hold, tap L1 and R1 together, it, I, it doesn't work here because I don't have it, but it will be for your heart ability. That might need to be, I might need to play with the, the timing on those, that double press, as it might activate the wrong ability but it should be okay um, you've got uh, triggers which is aim down sight and uh, shoot or in the case of the sword it's block now I didn't say before but holding down L1 will self target which we can show so this will bring up uh, left hand face button will bring up your inventory and then you just use your trackpad to um, equip and de-equip things so from here i can go here and pull this on and put out so if i cast this ability it's you know it's it's auto locked to him but if i want it to myself i just do that and it'll cast on myself same with all of this stuff everything that's self-cast you can do back now we're not in a party here so it's it's not gonna work, but what I can say for certain that it will work is if you are in a party and you click your heal button, I'll just wait for this to go and cool down, you tapping up and down on the D-pad will cycle you through your party members. See, oh there we go, see? It's, there's another player there. So it is it does cycle even if you're not in a party. So that's quite cool. Um, yeah, he's a bit far away, but you get the point, right? So definitely uh, something to keep in mind. Okay, so that's there. Uh, this face button brings up your map and menu. Of course, it's this, you just use the trackpad as a mouse to go through all this. 
When you're on the map screen, it's the same thing. You can hold A and then pull this to go in and out. Nice and easy. Um, and then we go to what makes the deck so cool is we have these back buttons, as you know. So what we're doing with these, what I've got set up here is pretty cool. You have, uh, you have one, two, you have three, four, five, and six. So going from left to right will go through all your consumables. So three, four, well, it's actually three and five and six. So it's pretty cool. Actually, no, it was in order. It's just because I ate it so fast, I didn't realize. So yeah, it's three, four, five, six. So L, what do they call them? L4, L5, R4, R5, right? So that's the order that it will go through if you yeah, were using them. And I've done one other cool thing with the um, the top ones. So for R4 and L4 is if you are in the menu here and you want to salvage something. So I've got this sh shield here that I don't want. I can hold L4 and it will come to auto salvage and you just have to confirm you don't even have to do that. If you just tap um, L4 again, it will auto confirm it. So you don't have to use the mouse to do it. So that makes that real easy. And then on the other stick, we can, if we can go to the, uh, to my storage, where is storage here? I've, this is my first time in the city. Uh, where is storage? Am I blind? Town board. Oh, it's right in front of me. Okay, so we'll go this way and I'll just show you storage. Oh, is this it here? Here we are. Can I climb up here? Can you let me climb? No. Okay. Let's go around then. So if you if you got a mass storage stuff, you can hold R4 and you just hold it down and you can just move stuff by pulling the trigger. Um, I let go there. But so if I hold R4 and then pull um, the trigger, it's just gonna start auto storing stuff. You don't have to worry about uh, doing it manually. And then same for pulling it out. You can just go through that way. Awesome. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Um, that is everything you should need to know about the ultimate controller guy for Steam Deck. And uh, have a great day. Once again, please like, subscribe if you think this content is worth it. If not, you know what to do. So yeah, with that. Fist pump back to you. All right, guys, catch us later. I thought I would, what I would do is just so, show off some simple gameplay down here, fighting these... Um, giant uh, bears because they've got quite high hit points which means I can do a prolonged fight and you guys can get an idea of what it looks like. Yes, so X is interactive of course, so as you can see that does that. So here we go, so I'll click here, do that ability, and I can click that one to go aim down my grenade launcher. Oh my goodness, I've got two of them here, Jesus Christ, okay out of there right and then of course I can hold for my third ability and I'll switch over to my sword I'm going to spin to win and then do our other attack dodge dodge Just like that, easy as pie. Well, the fight didn't look easy, did it? I made that look bloody difficult. But that's um, as simple as that, really. Like, you know, hold the sheath and um, carry on your merry way. Um, so, yeah. That's something.